What is going on, everybody? We have got another head-to-head -head season game here for you guys. This is actually our conference championship game. Um, when this game get into the Super Bowl, it will end up being our third straight Super Bowl appearance. Um, well, maybe not third straight Super Bowl appearance, but if we were to win it, it'd be three in a row. It might be our fourth or fifth Super Bowl appearance in a row. I don't know, but we can't even think about that game right now. All we have to think about is um, winning this game. But all I can think about from this game is this being the best run I've ever seen, which is actually the first play of the game. As you see, Julius Peppers wraps him up, Patrick Willis, Eric Berry, but it honestly doesn't matter because Darren Sproles is taking damn horse tranquilizer and ends up looping all the way around. I say with all that extra running, probably about a 90-yard touchdown, which was the first play of the game, which just, like, took all the wind out of my sails. Like, I was just like, ugh. I didn't get to see anything he wanted to do on offense as we were able to pick up a nice first down right there and a lot of extra yards. I didn't get to see anything he gets to do on offense and I just I just hate that. So, But the best thing to do, that we can do to counter it is to score a touchdown. So we're moving on offense right now. We're facing little resistance. We're able to get down inside the five. And then on second and goal, we're able to hit a quick slant route for a touchdown. So just like that, we tied it up 7-7. Now hopefully this drive, he actually has to work and we actually get to see some offense, see some plays, and um, defense needs to step up. So his second play, uh, or his third play from offense, he's still trying to establish the run, and why wouldn't he after that first run he had? We're able to stop it in a fourth down. He runs a dive and actually gets a nice chunk of yards. I wasn't expecting him to run it right there. On second down, he rolls out, and he, whew, I don't know how that wasn't intercepted. Um, I thought it was going to be picked. Third down, he's looking, and we're able to get a sack, and on fourth down, he takes his three, so... With him actually driving, we were able to hold him to three, um, take away that big run. We really we played okay defense. All we have to make sure that we do is execute on offense. The best way to counter him scoring is to just keep putting up points. There's two minutes left in the half. I get ball at half, so if I'm able to score a touchdown here, get ball and score a touchdown again, we're in great shape. So you know I've got to test to see if they're awake. Um, we end up going up top with Calvin, getting a nice game. Coming up on under, almost under a minute um, before halftime, we rip off a nice run, and we're just getting closer and closer. Second and one, we rip off a nice one. We try to juke to the outside. We just get tackled, so we're working with 30 seconds. We find a nice hit drop to the outside. We're down inside the five-yard line, and with 12 seconds left remaining, we um, score a touchdown, leaving him with no time to retaliate. And we rip off one of the best runs of our own. We had a nice spin move to the inside coming out of halftime. And we take it all the way for an 80-yard touchdown. I just had to celebrate. I couldn't help it. Um, so just like that, what we talked about, scoring the touchdown before half, getting the ball right back and scoring a touchdown, has put us in great shape. We're up by 11. And he's going to need two touchdowns to overtake us. So on the first play out, he chucks it up. Luckily, it's an overthrow. Um, I haven't really seen much passes from him. As you can see, he's still running it. Um, which kind of makes it good for when he drops back to pass. Now, he tried to, like, run modified PA end arounds. They would be out of, like, different formations. He would run, like, bench and slant one guy coming to the side and roll out. So he would have, like, three routes breaking off, as you guys can see right there. Um, how I didn't intercept that, I don't know. He sheds a sack, um, and we missed the interception. And on third and one, he's able to pick up that first down. So this drive, he's working. He is working because I left him the ball with the whole third quarter, as I don't know how that one wasn't intercepted. He's had to work. Right here, he rolls out to the left. Luckily, RG3 is right-handed, and he misthrows it. And on fourth down, he catches me with a slip screen, and I just wasn't expecting it. He was at a pistol. He had one up back, one back to the side. As he goes for two, which I really don't understand. Well, I guess he wanted to make it a three-point game. I can understand it. But he had a up back and a back behind him, and the up back sweeped across and took the screen. And uh, by that time, my defense was tired, so I had Lonsana on the field, Jack Ham. Um, and by no means are they terrible but they're not Patrick Willis or Collins or anything so we weren't able to shed the blocks and get the sack but it's okay all we have to do is tick the rest of this clock and we win and we're ripping off huge runs if I can get second and one second and two every time that really helps us to pick up a first down um and be able to tick out the rest of this clock so he's finally using his timeouts on second and seven uh we pick up a nice game right there third down and Jordy Nelson drops the pass and I'm just like, wow. So I decided to take my three. We had five mile an hour wind going with us. I decided to take my three and um, leave it to my defense because he has to score a touchdown and get two points. So there's no way we can lose 
if he scores and goes for two. So I decided to take my three. He has uh, one timeout, just over a minute and a half remaining. And I'm confident that my defense is going to be able to step up. So about the first or second play out, he's rolling, looking. Um, DRC does a nice job of knocking that down. On second down, he's looking. And we just missed the interception, but it was overthrown over me and the receiver. And on fourth down, he goes to that same screen that he scored with. But this time, I have Patrick Willis instead of Luke Keekley, And I'm able to get there really fast. Now, at this point, I was just frustrated because I felt like the game should not have been as close as it was. So we go up top, we score a touchdown, and we go for two. And the game just drags on, and I just end up putting, I just end up slitting the throat. Um, it was a, what, eight-point game, and as you guys are going to see here, it just, it gets out of hand. What you can do in a minute and a half um, of game clock, it gets crazy. So he's back out on offense, he's rolling around, trying to run like the end around. We get a sack, and uh, Sugg scoops it up, and then what we go right back to is um, Calvin in the corner of the end zone. We come down with that. We scored another touchdown, so just like that, we had 24 points, and we put on 15 points in the matter of basically like 10 or 15 seconds. So we kick off to him again, and he's coming back out on offense, and we are able to go ahead and force another turnover on fourth down. Eric Berry, out of nowhere, I've been looking to replace my strong safety, but he's been stepping up lately, um, gets a pick, and so we decided to let Jordy get in on the fun. Why let Cal have all the fun? We throw up a touchdown to Jordy, and the game just got out of hand there towards the end. But it definitely was a good game. My opponent had some nice stuff going on offense, just didn't really have much going on on defense. Um, and we go back and show you guys that first play touchdown run, which still blows my mind how that happened. I don't know how he got out of Julius Peppers, but I kind of know like once that animation starts, when they start going like this, and they start lifting up those legs, I know it's kind of hard to like bring them down. As you can see here, I'm looking and I'm like, okay, Peppers has got him locked up. And I start seeing that animation. You see how like his legs start kicking up and stuff? I'm like, damn, okay, so he's probably going to break that. But we have backup and I'm in Patrick Willis. So Eric Berry's coming in for help. I'm coming in for help and I just get slung off. Don't know how it happens. But we just get slung out of the way. Eric goes down. And you see Aaron Donald is coming in from the wide side of the field to help. He gets tripped by Julius Peppers. Cromarty and Jamie Collins both get tripped up and he just takes it out the gate and scores a touchdown. Crazy. One of the best runs I've seen this year. I wouldn't really attribute it to skill runs I've seen, but definitely one of the like best just like fluky crazy runs. So we're able to get that win. Moving on to our third Super Bowl in a row. Hopefully we can come up with that victory. Um, 10k coins on the line. And all the good stuff as we flash you guys the stats, so I appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you have not already. Check back possibly Thursday for a game. And um, hopefully it'll be the Super Bowl. I appreciate it.